in our corner here, and it's time for a showdown Wi-Fi battle video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe at the end of this video. So that way you don't have to miss any of my future videos heading into 2017. So yes, you guys, I'm back onto the YouTube game. I took a break or a hiatus because of finals and the Christmas holiday, trying to spend time with family and friends and all that. It's more important, right? Right. So with that in mind, I came back and I have a new microphone here, the Nessie Blue microphone. It's really good quality, I have to say, so hopefully I sound okay. Um, but in today's video, we're going to go on to Showdown. We're on the Pokemon Showdown page, Showdown Beta, and I'm going to try out a new team. Generation 7 Overused or OU. And the main Pokemon that I want to try out is Vikavolt. And uh, it was actually my very first Pokemon that I EV trained over the course of my hiatus. I took the time to breed and EV train a couple of Pokemon, such as Vikavolt for starters, and then I focused on Lycanroc as well. So these two are going to be the main Pokemon for a few weeks here, as I will be trying them out. So first up we have Vikavolt, and this set that I want to have for this guy is going to be Choice Specs. It's got the ability to levitate. Thunderbolt, Bug Buzz, Volt Switch, Energy Ball, with the EV spread of 252-252-4. So, very standard, but I really like Vigavolt's design, and I wanted to use him so badly. It's too bad I didn't use it in my in-game team, but it's okay. Secondarily, we have Lycanroc, and um, it's going to be using the Z-Power, Rocking MZ, which has, I think, Continental Crush, or the Z-Powered uh, Stealth Rock, which those moves are really good. Um, I'm going to end up using, I think, Continental Crush, which is really good. So, uh, it's got the Ability Keen Eye, a Solar Rock, Stealth Rock, Crunch, and Sucker Punch. So, it's a weird set, I know that, uh, but it's really hard to figure out like in Rock right now. Uh, I looked at his move sets and like some of the moves are like not worth using. So for now I'm just gonna be using these two rock type moves and then two dark type moves. And we'll see how we handle like and rock in the coming weeks here. Uh, the EV spread for this Pokemon is gonna be max attack, max speed, and for a special defense. And then thirdly we have Thirdly, if that's a word, I don't know. Um, but third Pokemon on the list here is Primarina, and that's my starter Pokemon. It's going to be Life Orb. It's got the Torrent ability. It's a Water Fairy type. It's got Sparkling Aria, Moonblast, Ice Beam, and Hidden Power Fire. I use Ice Beam to catch the Grass types. I use Hidden Power Fire to hit the Steel types. You can hit Grass types too, but... Mainly it's for steel types, because steel, while it's not super effective, I want to have coverage for the likes of, you know, Skarmory or any other steel type Pokemon that are in the game so far until Pokemon Bank comes out. So, uh, third or fourth, the fourth Pokemon on this team is going to be Persian Alolan form. And I wanted to have a defensive uh, Persian with leftovers, fur coat, and for those of you who don't know what fur coat is, it's, I think Furfro has this ability. This Pokemon's defense is doubled, so I gave it a little bit of defense and a little bit of special defense to kind of make it really bulky there on both sides of the spectrum. So that's how it's going to go there. The moves for this Pokemon is going to be Conk, Foul Play, Toxic, and Parting Shot. This was actually Partially, it was suggested by uh, Necrostevo. He has a breeding guide there, so I'm really happy to have him come up with a nice set as this one. And now we have our Mega B Mega Alakazam, and 
I used this thing over Wi-Fi before. It's got Psychic, Shadow Ball, Focus Blast, and Dazzling Gleam. Uh, I don't have Dazzling Gleam, my real uh, Alakazam in the game, but for this battle, I'm going to use him there. The EV Sprite's there. And then last but not least, I'm going to use a Defensive Dragonite. A Defensive Dragonite works well here because I can utilize Thunder Wave and make sure that my very slow Vickivolt can do some major damage with choice specs. Um, and then Dragon Claw is there for stab and then Ice Beam to catch to catch um, dragons and some other weaknesses are aimed at Dragonite there. So this is a good coverage move. And then Roost because we want to have, we want to have multi scale active. That's what I'm saying. So and then the EV is our uh, 252 HP, 252 special defense for an attack, no speed, interestingly enough, but we'll make it work. So, that is my team there, and I hope you guys enjoy the match. Let's go to the battle, and yeah, let's do it. The battle, you guys. Awesome. My opponent has, from left to right, Garchomp, Celestia, Type Null, Tapu Koko, Mimikyu, and Solazzle. So, I think five out of the six that my opponent has are all in Generation 7, so they're brand new to me. Uh, I have a little bit of experience with Type Nil and uh, Tapu Koko, as well as Solazzle, but everyone else, like Mimikyu, I know it's ability in Disguise. Disguise is like having a substitute from the startup. You don't take any damage and then your Disguise is out, you know, it, it, it wears off and then you can damage Mimikyu. So it's a really good Pokemon. You have to have it with like Sword Stance and other setup moves so you can use it efficiently. Uh, type No, I know is a normal type, but it's really good offensively. Celestia here is an Ultra Beast. If you guys don't know what an Ultra Beast is, it's like a legendary Pokemon, but like it's got its special ability. All the Ultra Beasts, I think there's like five to seven Ultra Beasts I know of, they all have Beast Boost, and that raises your attack and special attack, depending on what move what setup move you're using. So if you're using Calm Mind, you're using your special attack when you knock out a Pokemon. And then if you use like Sword Stance or Bulk Up, your physical attack raises up. We all know what Garchomp can do. It can just be defensive. It can be, you know, Choice Scarf, Choice Band. We all know this. I mean, we went through 5th uh, Gen and 6th Gen with this guy. And uh, I think that's it. You guys can see my Pokemon here. I want to use Vickavolt. That's the main Pokemon I want to use. I guess a little bit of Lycanroc, but Vickavolt here is the Pokemon I want to use. Vickavolt can't really do much. I don't have Hidden Power Ice on this particular set. Maybe next time I will. So that way we can catch Garchomp by surprise. Vickavolt can hit uh so let's steal up because it's a steel flying type. So electric type news will work against it really well there. Um, it can do a little bit of damage to Tapu Koko, but not really. Because his ability, Electric Surge, it kicked my butt last battle <laughs> on my channel. Um, but if we can get Electric Surge on the field, Vickavolt can pretty much do something. So let's go ahead and play this thing. I actually went and played this instead and played all the music there, so I'm not going to do that. So let's go ahead and play this thing. Um, I will pause to make plays here. Uh, my opponent is going to start out with Mimikyu. And it's going to go for Infestation. And uh, it's really interesting because you don't, I don't see that on Mimikyu. Most of the time they go for Sword Stance, but for this battle, it's using Infestation. And you're going to see exactly what it's going to do. So, uh, we went for Ice Beam, and like I said, it's like a substitute from the startup. So, its disguise is, you know, it's gone now. So now we can officially attack it again, and it'll do, it'll do damage. 
So he goes for curse. And uh, it's a little bit unfortunate for us because we take damage every turn. And while that's bad, it does sacrifice Mimikyu's attack, or um, his HP rather. So that's a good trade-off, but we have to be careful because when a Pokemon has that uh, at its disposal, there's a chance that it might carry Protect, and we do see Protect right here. So I predicted that, and I went for Roost. Isn't that amazing? But of course, the curse and the infestation is going to be kind of annoying. We go for another Ice Beam, we can see just how bulky Mimikyu is. He probably has a little bit of special defense and HP investment. And he goes for Rest. So yeah, there you go. That's a nice way to start off a battle. Um, like, can we freeze it? Because if we freeze Mimikyu, it will make things a lot easier. I could, I could have switched out there, but at the same time, it's like I want to keep everyone fresh. Now, for some weird reason, I went for Crunch with Lycanroc. Uh, at the time of the match, I thought that Mimikyu was a ghost type. It is a ghost type, but it's a ghost fairy type. So that kind of is unfortunate. It's not super effective. I really should have gone with the, uh, the Z-powered uh, Continental Crush. But we go for a Cellar Rock. And uh, because he went for a curse again, he's going to go down. Next up, we have to face Celestia. And I'm like, all right, let's do this. It's weak to rock type moves. All right, so I thought we used Continental Crush. It barely does half. So you see just how, you know, bulky a Ultra Beast is. I have yet to use an Ultra Beast. So here is the star of the show, Vickervolt. And I want to use my Choice Specs Thunderbolt. Uh, but I don't want to use it yet, you guys, because we were... Remember, Garchomp is a ground type, so I go into Primarina, who's a fairy type, I can go for a Moon Blast and finish off Garchomp just like that. Uh, Garchomp is Life Orb, so all that damage kind of hurt, didn't it? I don't want anyone to take a hit from Celestila, and just like that, the Beast Boost raised up Celestila's attack, which is just a little bit threatening there. And he goes for protect, probably scouting to see what move I'm going to go for. And I go for my choice specs, Thunderbolt. He goes for Cossack, and it's okay, I guess. It's a little unfortunate, because we take more damage every turn, but at the same time, we're going to be switching out a lot anyway, because we don't want to stay in on a Slazzle. This thing might be Scarfed, I don't want to take the chance. So we go into our physically defensive Persian who doesn't take pretty much any special attacking move. A Fire Blast and a Hidden Power. I don't remember what type it was, but those two moves there finishes off Persian. Doesn't do anything. That sucks. But it's okay because we're going to go for a Focus Blast here with Mega Alakazam. We we miss, of course, because it's Focus Miss. We all know this. Come on. He has x -Scissor, And I miss again. See? This is really frustrating. I would have taken out Type Neal relatively easily there had I hit those two moves. But because I didn't, we're going to be at a tight disadvantage. I might have actually, you know gotten closer to like, a victory or something like that. But uh, in the end, we were close to having a double down. Uh, but Vickerville hangs on there. But it doesn't really matter because Tapu Koko, who is, uh, I think, a guardian Pokemon of the Alola region, he's going to go for a Brave Bird. And then he goes for the Z-Power Guardian of Alola, which looks so awesome. And I go for my a cellar rock trying to finish off Tapu Coco and I can finish off Salazzle, which at that range of HP, I don't think I would have taken a hit from Salazzle anyway. So that was a great battle. I enjoyed it. I could have gone a little bit differently had I hit the Focus Blast with my Mega Alakazam, but 
we missed twice in a row. That's quite annoying. So we need to, you know, work on that. And uh, electric surge didn't really matter in the long run, too. Anyway, so that's the end of this awesome match. If you enjoyed this, make sure you like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you in 2017. Have a great day, Chris.